All right, so here we are looking at the radar picture. Not much happening on it. Likely isn't going to be much today. We won't bring the rain chances down to zero, but we're going to keep them pretty low, and that goes for today and tomorrow both. Here's what the current conditions look like. 68 degrees in Thomasville, 68 degrees in Valdosta. That breeze noticeable out of the northeast and east-northeast, 8, 9, 10 miles per hour. As we go through our morning, we'll start with more sunshine. It will eventually fade to a little bit more cloud cover, just like it did yesterday. And yesterday, even with that increase in cloud cover, we got to 80 degrees. I think we can get someplace close a few degrees warmer than normal and way warmer than normal this morning. We're supposed to be in the low 60s. Most temperatures are in the middle and upper 60s. Got a lot of 68s and 69s out there like Bainbridge and Thomasville, Monticello, Valdosta, Moultrie, Perry, Live Oak, Cross City, all in that 68 or 69 range. There is a breeze already this morning out of the northeast, 5, 10, 15 miles per hour. It'll more likely be in the 8, 12, 18 mile per hour range this afternoon. The east coast is still under the influence of this big ridge of high pressure. A little bit of energy off to our west trying to make some progress east, getting chewed up by that big ridge of high pressure. How well that holds its ground becomes an important player in what's coming from the south. We go to the future cast again for the next couple of days. Most of the energy coming in from the east around that big ridge of high pressure. That's where that breeze comes from. And we're going to keep the rain chances, even the cloud cover, at kind of a minimum. But as we get to Friday, we start looking down towards the bottom of the screen because now the clouds are getting a little bit more numerous and they're making some progress north. It tells us a couple of things. First, that energy to the south getting a little bit stronger, and that likely will happen. Second, maybe that ridge to the north is going to start breaking down to allow it to move a little bit more. I don't normally like to show the computer models, especially this many days out, because it usually gets people thinking all kinds of crazy things. But at least we can follow some sort of progression on what may or may not happen. Between now and early Friday afternoon, I still think the system is way down to the south and slowly beginning to turn into something. As it gets into the Gulf, it likely will intensify a little bit. Now, it doesn't have to be a named system to cause a really wet weekend. So that's one of the things that we're going to watch by the time we get to maybe Saturday night or Sunday. There could be some significant rains pushing north, and it still could be at this point. If the ridge holds where it is to our north, it never gets here. Now, a lot of the indications, though, is this should be able to move quickly. So it's not going to stand in one spot the whole time, and it's not going to be one of those torrential several-day rainmakers. So before we start jumping to conclusions on what this could or may not be, let's watch for another day or two and then see how it's able to develop if it's able to develop. Either way, I think we do need to be on alert for some rain chances this weekend. On the Gulf winds today, breezy 12 to 24. There's a look at the tide times. We are going to do the low tides next up. Morning temperatures go from 60s and 70s quickly to the 80s, and I think that's where they stay this afternoon. Let's call them upper 80s. It will be breezy. Tonight, more of the partly cloudy, probably more of the upper 60s, close to 70. And over the next few days, I think we're watching the tropics intently. Fall not quite here, especially when we're talking about tropical development. At this point, I'm not canceling weekend plans, but I'm getting some alternative ones ready.